you were asking about attention span. I'm watching people who have no attention span right. come to the theater or go anywhere, and there's this, and there's, you know, there's very Your little... cell phones go off. You know, <laughs> like yeah, that. but <laughs> I, I, I'm wondering if this, if what we've done, you know, we always think we're getting smarter, but I, I tend to think that's the, not true because the, the audiences were able to absorb and listen and concentrate and uh, take in material and think about it in a way that people aren't able to do in the same way. And I don't, I'm not talking just about commercialism or whatever. I'm talking about the fact that, that what is coming in, the stimulus that is coming in, is transforming how people are using their brains Absolutely. and their capacity. And the other thing I wanted to ask you about is spirituality and emotion, psychology, because of course it's all probably part of the brain, but we've always felt, you know, you feel it in your heart, you feel things in your body, that's still coming through your brain, I'm assuming, but there'll be enormous cultures, I mean, look at us, we're all from this one culture, and I keep thinking about when I was in Australia and was with a group of people uh, who completely think, um, totally differently. What are their brains like? The Aborigines, what, how they sense time and dream time and living time is so completely the mm -hmm. opposite of the way we as Westerners think. So has there been a comparison to what is the difference in their, in their brains? Then? That's great. I mean, the fact, what you're saying is the environment's different for young people than it was for us, okay? Uh, and and it, it's different in different cultures and different times. And Evolution doesn't really care if you become really good at doing this, if it makes you successful <laughs> in our environment. And so why, brains are getting wired differently, all right? Dyslexia wasn't a disorder 200 years ago because most people didn't read. Uh, and, you know, um, <clears throat> but learning to read wires your brain differently. Yeah. And we can see it with imaging techniques. And I wonder what your brain looked, I mean, we, we, all these examples of the geniuses that were flashed up on the board uh, were perhaps in the last thousand years. And uh, these brains are relatively new inventions to evolutionary history. What did a genius look like, as, as you're alluding to, 5,000 years ago um, in, a primitive, in a more primitive culture? What does that look like? Except, except see, you know, when we talk about technology and art, which we constantly balance those those things you you think about the taj mahal and these and these extraordinary right. um, architectural marvels and, that had no technology you know this, the yeah but there had to be some evolutionary constraint to select for this creative process every step of the way to get to this point right now so what did that look like back then to get to this point was it uh, doing artifacts? Was it dance? Was it um, some sort of uh, new use of fire? Uh, what did this creative genius, this creative uh, uh, brain look like 5,000, 10,000 years ago to get to this point where we have the luxury to create the Taj Mahal, for example, and the tools to create mm -hmm. the Taj Mahal where we can peek inside brains with MRIs? I think that's an interesting question. It kind of gets to your point uh, as well. With the spirituality question, um, I think that's uh, interesting in, in respect when they've done imaging of uh, people meditating, um, uh, you get, uh, it makes me think of this transient hypofrontality again. You get a strong activation in the parietal lobes of the brain, uh, in the posterior parts of the brain, and a down regulation of the frontal lobes of the brain. And finally, with your, with your question about this technology, when your frontal lobes are constantly engaged in a task, there's no time for this transient hypofrontality to occur. You're constantly doing something. You're updating your Facebook. Um, there's no space for this transient hypofrontality to occur. I, m my working hypothesis is that that is um, uh, damaging to the creative process or the creative development. 